Unrecognized Nations Association, UNPO, admits Wazuruke's Pro Biafra Group. Pro Biafra Group, BIM Masob, has been admitted as the 46th member of the Unrepresented Nations and Peoples Organization an international body attached to the United Nations, European Union, and United States of America. In a letter by the UNPO Secretary General, Ralph Bunche, addressed to BIM Masob leader, Ralph Wazurike, dated April 22nd, the organization expressed its gladness to welcome BIM Masob as a new member of the UNPO. I am writing to you with reference to the application for membership submitted by BIM Masob to the Unrepresented Nations and Peoples Organization. I am happy to inform you that following careful consideration, the UNPO presidency presidency members have made the decision to accept BIM Masob as a new member of the UNPO. According to our covenant, new organizations are voted in as full members at the UNPO General Assembly. The next General Assembly will take place in Washington, D.C. from July 31st to August the 2nd. So, Please make sure to be represented at the event. You are allowed to bring up to four members in your delegation. Although the formal swearing will take place only in three months from now, the presidency's decision allows the secretariat to work with you in the meantime. However, the presidency would like to learn more about the democratic character of your organization. For instance, we would like you to clarify when the next leadership elections will take place and to share the statutes of the organization. We would also like to schedule a call sometime in May to discuss your expectations for the coming years and set up working priorities in line with the mandate of the UNPO Secretariat. I take the opportunity to inform you that the annual membership fee of 3,000 euros should be transferred to the UNPO in advance of the next General Assembly. We are glad to welcome the people of Biafra as, member, as new members of the UNPO and we are looking forward to working closely with you, Bonche said. UNPO is an international organization for member nations united in a shared philosophy of non-violence and who suffer dehumanization, deprivation and violent repression within their mother country and are in search of independence. Organizations that spearhead or spearheaded countries like Armenia, Latvia, South Sudan, East Timor, Estonia, Georgia, Slovakia, and others who are now independent nations, nation members of the United Nations, were once members and now all beneficiaries of the unrepresented nations people organization all right guys what are your thoughts concerning this is this a good news for biafra the unrecognized nations association you know have come out to admit uh, the beam biafra pro group of the uh, wazurike as the 46th member of the unrepresented nations and people's organization the unpo what does this mean for Biafra and what does this actually represent? It represents the fact that now they can now channel their grievances through a structured organization and um, they can now meet, you know, and they, this organization can now help them 
to achieve their goal of an independent nation. You recall that um, the Yoruba were the ones who were accepted recently before the Biafra, while the Yoruba nations were accepted as the 45th member, the Biafrans have been accepted as the 46th member. What does this tell you and what does this actually imply for this um, agenda? Does it mean that the uh, does it mean that these guys or this organization you know helps nations other smaller group of people who yearn to become independent from their mother nations to achieve that to a great uh, to a great level that is what it is basically so to a large extent we can say it is a good news for the Biafran people but another concern that we might be looking at is the issue of the IPO. There are different groups working for the realization of Biafra. The Uazurike's group, the IPO group, let's name the Kano's group, and uh, so far there, are, there seem to be some other uh, younger, smaller groups also working to achieve Biafra. So with all these groups coming up together, which is the main group I think there should be just one group so why can't they actually merge together and form one coalition to achieve this purpose instead of um, having different groups now that this being my subgroup has been admitted as the 46th member of the unrepresented nations and people's organization what happens to IPOP will IPOP also be writing to the UNPO to join them in the fight for the actualization of Biafra or will they at, the, at some point you know merge with the Wazurikis group to become one so these are some of the um, issues that are on ground that we are actually not uh, understanding at the moment but be that as it may guys what are your thoughts? Is it a good step in the right direction? What could be happening later? Because if things are not structured at this particular point, when and eventually, if independence is gotten, you probably would see issues whereby people uh, might be uh, scampering or fighting for who to be in charge or who to uh, take some leadership or run some leadership um, position. There will be claims of, I did this, I did that, I went to jail, I was this, with this and that, and all what have you. So all in the name to, of um, actually getting some leadership position. So I think the people of the Southeast or the people of Biafra will need to come together you know, bring all the ideologies under one umbrella and forge ahead with this umbrella to be able to stand as one instead of divided as they probably they presently are at the moment. I stand to be corrected though, but I feel that they need to work together. If things continue this way, there might be uh, misunderstandings, there might be uh, Conflict of interest, conflict of understanding in the near future. And so as to avoid all this, the IPOP members, the BIM uh, Masob, need to come together. They need to come together to work hand in hand, work in tandem to achieve the Biafra. So guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? Do you think that the... Uh, membership of the UNPO would go a long way to help achieve the uh, dream of Biafra? Or do you think that uh, do you also think that the uh, BIM Masob led by Ralph Wazrike would be the ones to achieve Biafra? Or will it be the IPOB, the people under the Namdekano, will they be the ones to achieve Biafra? Or in what ways? 
drop by the comment section let us know what your thoughts are please don't forget to subscribe to this channel hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories thank you for your time guys i appreciate your support and i'll see you on the other news thank you and bye for now